Hi, Virginia, we all know that asbestos is highly dangerous. It can cause mesothelioma, but did you know that it's still being used in a lot of building materials and commercial products? Here to tell us more is Andy Crouppen from Brown and Crouppen. Andy, good morning to you. Good nice morning. To have you here. You're going to keep your shirt on, right? Uh, yes, but it's I can't promise about my pants. <laughs> That is the correct answer. No problem. You can stay. So I, like probably a lot of people who are not up to date apparently on our asbestos, I thought it was gone. I thought we kind of took care of this and that's yesteryear and it's still in some existing stuff, but they're not using it anymore. That's not right. That is not right. I think, you know, when I was a kid, I remember they would close the school for a week for asbestos abatement. And I think everybody thought around that time that was sort of the end of that danger. That's not true. In, in 89, they did ban the use of asbestos, but the asbestos industry wasn't having that. They sued uh, to maintain the right to still use it, and most of that ban was overturned. Uh, there are still some banned products as a result. You know, right. flooring felt, it was used in, in papers. A lot of the most dangerous uses were banned. There are also no new uses of asbestos okay. allowed, so you won't see an asbestos iPhone case. <laughs> Good to know. Right. Didn't even think about that. So what sort of things are we still finding it in today, then? Well, you know, asbestos isn't all bad. There are some things that really almost have to be made out of, out of asbestos. Okay. Asbestos is heat and fire resistant. It doesn't conduct electricity. So, for instance, firemen couldn't do their job without asbestos. So a lot of their protective gear, uh, it's still used in automotive parts. Uh, you'll see it in flooring tiles and in some insulation, piping insulation, places where really it can be self-contained and, and it doesn't get disturbed and cause a problem. So it's got its beneficial uses. It also has its dangerous side too. Tell us right. about that. Well, the problem with asbestos is when it gets pulverized and, and breaks, it, um, the particles which are invisible to the eye, instead of just kind of falling to the ground like normal dust, mm -hmm. stays in the air for a long time. And, it, and it's a very strong mineral. And what will happen is, is those fibers can get, you, you breathe it in and they get into your lungs. The body can't break it down. And, and so it's an irritant in the lungs and it can stay there for decades. And you could be exposed to asbestos today and have no idea you were exposed. 20, 30 years later, you start to develop some of these asbestos-related wow. illnesses, and, and most of the time, they're fatal. So what groups of people are at risk? Are we talking about heavy manufacturing, that sort of thing? You know, it's used in a lot of automotive parts, so sometimes car mechanics, uh, electricians, because sometimes it's used in the installations, mm -hmm. uh, ship builders. You know, people are in who are obviously in miners, some of the more heavy construction industries, right. people who are using um, materials that are still made out of asbestos, unfortunately, are still at risk. But on a much more personal note, if you're going to begin a DIY project and your home maybe is older, uh, and you're going to do a little touch-up, you're going to remodel the kitchen, you got to wonder what you're getting into behind that wall, right? You do, because it wasn't that long ago that it was really commonly used in a lot of things. So if you have an older home, you know, more than probably 15, 20 years old, mm -hmm. I would probably get a professional in there just to make sure you know what you're dealing with, what you're, what you're trying to destroy could be made out of asbestos. Once you get those fibers in the air, you know, it's not a sure thing that you'll get a, an asbestos-related illness, but, but it, it's not a risk you want to take. You get mesothelioma, and, and most people, you know, unfortunately die within a year or two. Wow. You and know. again, as you mentioned, you might not know until two decades right. down the road. Exactly. So better to take the precautions now. Thank you very much. Thank you. Good stuff. If you have a legal question for Brown and Crouppen, you can email it to us at greatday at KMOV.com. We will be right back with more Great Day St. Louis in just a bit. Stick around.